It is great to be with you again. A lot has changed in a year, and I want to tell you that the changes have been for the better. Those that seek to destroy the legitimacy of the Jewish state, those that seek to make a hostile environment for those that simply want to carry a message protected by the First Amendment in favor of the State of Israel, have met resistance, but those that were opposing them have met a greater resistance. For the past year, we have stood firm on many fronts, and I am really pleased to tell you today that we've achieved in just this last year many great victories on behalf of free speech on campuses for students, for faculty, and for others. The ambassador knows how it is to battle in this very chamber. It's humbling to be here again. But Ambassador, let me say this. The battle that you are engaging in every day for the State of Israel and for all of us that love freedom, I want to personally thank you, Ambassador Danone, for everything you are doing to standing for freedom, standing for liberty, and standing for true democracy, and standing for the Jewish people. Thank you for your efforts. Just a few days ago, I had the awesome experience of spending some time with the President of the United States. Let me tell you what we don't have to worry about. Because of Ambassador Haley, because of the position of the United States, and because of the President, we're not going to have to worry about where the United States stands in defense of the Jewish state of Israel. There is much work to do. There is much work to do because it's changed now. BDS has moved from delegitimization to the elimination of Israel. Those longing wish of Alroy should be the wish of all of us that we maintain that ability to have our national existence, our land of promise, Jerusalem, the temple, our creeds, our customs. And at the end of the day, let me be crystal clear. We win. Thank you.